Now to a story that has the entire city of CUNA talking tonight. Happened early this morning, a pickup truck plowed into a CUNA home causing major damage and then it sped away. With the driver nowhere to be found, police and the homeowner are now hoping someone in the area may have seen something or have any information for them. Our Gretchen Parsons was there, took a look at the damage and has the story. Gretchen. Well, Mark, when the truck came through the wall of this house, it pushed a bed forward and pinned the family dog between the bed and the wall. Thankfully, the dog wasn't hurt and neither was anyone else inside the house, but the wreck definitely caused a lot of damage. It sounded like a semi truck, like a diesel engine truck with a turbo revving up, trying to like spin it out tires. I could hear tires spinning out in my yard. Sam, who asked not to be on camera, was with his wife asleep in bed when he heard a loud crash at 2.30 a.m. on Sunday morning. As soon as we hear this, my wife gets out of bed, looks through the window and yells, there's a car in our backyard. I jump out of bed and as soon as I jump out of bed, the next thing I know, the car's coming through the house. All Sam could make out was a lifted white pickup truck. It had to be a truck with four-wheel drive lifted to get out of the yard. I mean, you can see it's pretty high. The truck plowed through the backyard fence and through the master bedroom wall. You can you see the mud on the house. And almost crushed Sam's dog. She usually sleeps next to the bed or at the foot of the bed. And as soon as that got pushed, she was pinned underneath the bed and between the bed and the wall underneath the bed. I had to pick up the bed and slide it back to get her out. And she's a, got a 140 pound lab. Luckily, the dog wasn't hurt and neither was Sam, his wife or two daughters. He filed a police report and in the meantime, he's hoping someone else may have seen something to help identify the driver. I'm just hoping they find the guy and take responsibility for it. He could have really hurt me or my family worse than he did. I mean, all he, luckily, all he did was just hit the house. None of us got injured, but it could have been a lot worse than it was. Sam lifts off of uh, Stib Knight Avenue in CUNA. Again, this happened around 2.30 this morning. So maybe if you were in the area and saw something or you have any information, you're asked to call the Ada County Sheriff's Office. Mark? Just can't imagine what that would yeah. have been like at 2.30 in the morning. Yeah, very truck. scary. Wow. All right, Gretchen, thank you.